Waves is an incredible film. Unlike other teen dramas, it takes on a more profound approach. It shows how we as humans are interlinked, despite how modern society has clothed us with inhumane qualities. The film reveals the great tragedy, but also the undeniable beauty of life. At its core, it conveys a desire for benevolence and pardoning. I was impressed by the director Trey Edward Schultz, who has also directed other films such as Cretia, which was rated a decent 7.1 on IMDb. What impressed me the most about his work was his level of ambition, accompanied by his unbridled confidence. It's the fact that he was not afraid to challenge himself and work outside the traditional structure of a film. Trey also made use of other techniques, such as aspect ratio, to intensify the emotion and atmosphere on screen. Rather than playing it safe, he took a risk that not only made him a great director, but a director with a voice. The opening of Waves gives a glimpse into Tyler's joyous and thriving life. Tyler is spending time with his girlfriend Alexis. The initial rotating shot indicates a world filled with euphoria, blurring the line between love and obsession. The cool color palette hints at the comfort of his relationship with Alexis. It lays out a perfect veil of normalcy. The overuse of close-ups and zooming in emphasizes the unbreakable bond. It is almost impossible to think anything could separate them until a threat enters Tyler's world. Everything falls apart for Tyler. His senior year and college prospects could be ruined by a shoulder injury. The absence of a supportive structure makes it a heavier burden. Tyler is unable to cope with his entire life plan being dismantled. He secretly takes pain medication which only worsens his situation. As mentioned earlier, the director extensively tightens the aspect ratio as the tension builds, indicating that Tyler's world is collapsing. It dawns on him that Alexis is carrying his child. They come to an agreement, deciding on an abortion, but then things take a nasty turn. Wait, wait, what do you mean you couldn't do it? I don't, I don't know. I, just, I mean, I babe, why would you just do it while we were there? We could have did it while we were there. I mean, I don't want to have to go confused about what? Talk about what? We need to just talk about it We talked about it. What more is there to talk about? Why are you yelling at me? I'm not yelling at you. Just as we think things can't get any worse, Alexis decides to end things with Tyler. Tyler becomes even more devastated when he suspects Alexis has moved on with someone else. Due to both parties being irrational, there is poor communication which leads to misinterpretations giving birth to a tragedy. It's not bullshit! It's you would bullshit, know that man. if you listen to anything I ever say! And the drinks aren't for me, they're for my friends, the ones upstairs that you never took the chance to get to know. You don't care about anyone but your Stop fucking lying. Self. That's why I can't I care about you. nobody but my fucking self right now. So fucking walk away from me. Let's see. Let's see. Move! Yeah, we can keep it, Alexis. Alexis, let's look, look, look at him. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. We can fucking keep it. We can keep it. We don't have to get a fucking abortion. Fuck you. you think I'm gonna raise my baby with you? Look at you. You give me the full ass Fuck you! Watching waves requires some patience due to its length and pace. But the emotional moments in the second half come as a reward and are worth waiting for. There are so many sides to the story and we have only scratched the surface. We may be curious about a lot of things. Is Tyler a bad person? Was Tyler's father's extreme method of parenting the reason for Tyler's downfall? How does the second part of the story make up for the tragedy? Is the unconventional structure of the film effective? There are plenty of gems to uncover from this remarkable film. Stay tuned. <laughs>